Now the thing with this 5 star character is that not everyone will get the same results when getting one. Have you ever spent hours grinding in a game or in real life for the money to get said exclusive 5 star? The one that everyone says it's a game changer and that it will change your team or make it way better. However, the real question is, are they worth it? All in this video, but first, let me know in the comments below which 5 star have you spent your entire days grinding for and was it worth it or did you regret it? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, maybe a subscribe if you want to see more from me, name's LightWarrior59 and now we can get right into the video. Now you heard Hoyoverse releasing a new character. You see that character everywhere, everyone says it's good, everyone keeps feeding you that character's greatness like it's an, some, some sort of an unseen god, but what do you want? Before you shell out your hard earned cash or spend countless hours grinding for that 5 star character, consider this. Many games are designed to be enjoyable and challenging even without the rarest of characters. Genshin can be easily beaten with a 4 star team and you don't have to struggle in doing so. In the end it's about having fun, enjoying your time playing it, taking a break from real life. It's not about the best of the best. But how about we take it even further and we check out the options. Take me for example, I love being a collectionist. I would lo really love having all the characters all and over the years I still haven't gave up on that idea. Even though some of my characters are used every single day and some are not, I still come back to them, give them a build and see how they feel like after all that time. Even though I sometimes regret having a particular character or particular 5 star, I try to remove that feeling by playing it again and find, find out what made me summon in the first place. I'm trying to relight that extinguished flame that I had at that time for the character. Now, these interests are just for me alone, maybe you love doing millions of damage from one hit, maybe others like the voice acting, or maybe someone loves just watching a character just being there. Silly churl, billy churl, silly billy hilly churl, Ooh. Why are you so damn cute? All this happened to me at one time playing Genshin and it may happen to you, so before wishing for a 5 star think of this. What emotion is this that I feel? Do I desire such personality, design, gameplay? Will this make me happy and accomplished? And most importantly, do I want it now or can I just wait? Let me know below if you've had any of these questions before and how did you answer them at that time? Now, if you're unsure about a 5 star character or you just want to try a particular one, there is an event right now, the Triumph on Frenzy I think it was named, that doesn't let you use your own characters and it makes you choose one from a trial, from a set of trials ones. There you can see if any particular character piques your interest or you can find out if it's fun or not. Or even better, if your character is on the banner, banner and you want to try it and play it, there is always a trial uh, try this character in the event page so uh, you can see there remember the questions i asked and try to figure out if they're right for you or not don't go based on other people's opinions if you like it don't listen to others don't let them uh, destroy your dreams or anything now for example in my collection i have five stars that i just got because of the sheer moment like eula Shao, Nilo, and I barely use. Even though I like their design, I like their gameplay. I don't use them as much as my as others. Putao, Ayaka, Furina, ones that I really tried farming, really tried getting. I it, they, they really accomplished me when I got them. It was it's just a different type of feeling, and they do not disappoint. And it makes my time on Genshin really worth it. Find out the one that makes your game worth it, and you will figure out if any others are worth getting or not. Let me know which one is your favorite and you'll never give up on this game just for their sheer existence. Thank you so much for watching, hope you have another perspective on this game now and you can make a decision on what's to come. Slight Warrior out.